Hi, I'm JJ Barnes and you are watching another episode of Creative Writing for Kids. Today I'm going to be talking to you about a process called arcing your characters. Because one of the most important parts of your story being good is that your characters are believable. So you want to make sure that when your characters do something, your audience understands why. So the character arc is when you take one character who at the beginning of the story is one kind of personality and does one kind of thing. And by the end of them, of the story, they're doing something different. And you can change a personality through your story. Any personality can change. You can have a good guy become a bad guy, a bad guy become a good guy. You can have somebody shy become confident, but you have to show your audience, your readers, why that's happening. So if you think about in Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban, at the beginning of the book, Hermione is the very good girl, as she is in the other books, but just in that one. She does her homework, she works really hard, she's polite to teachers, she always takes on as much homework as she can and does it well, and she's doing so many lessons that she's actually even better than a good girl because she's doing all of the work, all of the time. By the end of the book, and all through it, you start to see a change in Hermione. She's getting stressed, so she's lashing out. And I'm sure you know what that's like, because I do, and when I'm tired and I'm stressed, I sometimes behave more grumpy and stressed and angry. And I'm sure you do too. And so does Hermione. She punches Malfoy. She storms out of her Professor Trelawney lesson. She curses Snape at the end. So you see Hermione change. But if you'd shown her doing those things at the very beginning of the story, before you'd seen her getting stressed and wound up by her work and Buckbeak's trial and her falling out with Harry and Ron, it wouldn't have made any sense. Because that's not who she is and that's not who you've been told she is. And J.K. Rowling makes it very clear that that's not who she is most of the time. But by the end of it, when she's doing those things, you still believe it. It feels real because you've been shown how she got there. So you can do that with your characters too. If you want a character to start your story as a good person, say, like Hermione, a very well-behaved kid who never gets in trouble, and by the end of your story, you want them to do something really naughty, you just show your, your readers why. You say in the story what's happening in that person's life. If you want them to start shy and become confident, you show them shy, but you don't suddenly give them the confidence to stand on the stage and sing. That has to come from somewhere. You have to show them how it got there, and that's called arcing. Showing your, your character going in a life experience, going through changes. Not just snapping change, because it just makes sense for your story right now. Because it doesn't make sense for the character. And if the character doesn't make sense, even if you want it for your story, your story won't make sense. So you arc them, you show the journey, you show how they get from one behaviour type to another. Either they are encouraged and they find new friends that, that give them the confidence to do something. Or, like Hermione, they're put under a lot of pressure and stress and they're taking on too much and they've lost their friends and so they become worse. But you can show any change and you can make any character do any terrible or wonderful thing, even if it's against their normal personality, as long as you show how they got there and why. So I hope this has helped. I hope that you'll be able to feel like your characters are believable and your audience will enjoy reading about them. And don't forget on my website, uh, which is www.jjbarnes.co.uk, I've got loads of resources over there. Writing games, activities, story prompts, things you can do, as well as links to my Facebook page, which is Creative Writing for Kids with JJ Barnes, where you can share what you've been doing and see what other people are doing too. Don't forget there is a contact form or you can send me a comment and ask any questions that you have, either about the work you're doing right now or just any ideas that you've had or things you've heard that you don't quite understand and I will see if I can help you. There's also a tip jot over there if you like my work and want to leave a little tip to say thank you. Um, what else can I say? Oh, don't forget please to subscribe and yeah, um, put the notifications on so that every time I put a video out you get to see it and I will keep bringing you free educational resources to help you with your stories. So thank you very much and I'll be back again soon. Bye.